Hey everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, I had a, a few questions come in there about time, healing, pain, um, and I suppose in some ways time does heal, heal you. Uh, everybody's different, of course, but I just wanted to, in, in my, my particular case, time is not healed, unfortunately, because we've never gotten closure on our uh, truth and justice for my brother Shane, which was right there, as you can see him right there, and that's a piece of work that Shane did, one of his many pieces of art, that's a copy of course. Um, and no, time never, time somewhat heals, I would think, in most cases, but when you never get closure, time is never going to heal, and we've never gotten closure on our uh, our, our case and our quest for for justice for for my brother Shane and therefore you live in constant it's hard to describe but a constant state of um, of angst in many ways because you know you've never gotten to the the legal truth of what happened and and that makes it very difficult of course because everybody wants closure and that's when I see other cases in, in the media or I hear of other stories of people finally getting closure. That's a very, that's a huge milestone for anybody to achieve, not just for the person that they've lost, but also for the family that have had to endure the, the, the struggles and the trauma of loss. Uh, so that's something that we, 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 we've been striving to achieve. Now, without being able to go into too much detail, of course, until we, we, we come out more with our podcast uh, and with our, our revelation, should we say. Um, uh, long story short, this case, and I will talk about it more and more as I'm able to, but this case was basically slammed shut on us by, by the Irish and French police, and there was basically nothing that we could do. Um, you know, go on, move home deal with it there's nothing to see here type of thing and uh, it was a very complex uh, without saying too much a very complex report that basically nobody could figure out it was a it was whether it was purposely done or not it was a uh, not even some of the best lawyers in the world could figure it out and, and that's why it's taken us years to unravel the the, the riddle that was somewhat created, without saying too much, was created, meaning that we were never able to uh, achieve what we were trying to achieve, achieve the injustice, and uh, basically case closed. So, so my point being is, is that it's very difficult to be able to move on when you have never gotten any justice, and it, the, the case in our eyes was never solved. There was something there's something not right about it. Again, this is also, this is will all come out as we as we share more uh, in our podcast, which we're working on at the moment. Um, and we've got uh, a real great team that we're building and continuing to build on this case as we unravel it. And uh, it's a shocking, it's a shocking, it's shocking. And that's all I say about it. And we're pretty confident now that we're going to start to. Um, expose a lot of things and people and um, uh, uh, and hopefully a, again the, the whole purpose and goal here is to seek the justice uh, and get the truth for, for my brother Shane so we've never been able to emotionally detach from it um, and never been able to emotionally move on it's just if, if you don't go through it you just don't know what it's about or what it's like or what 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 i'm even talking about um but i know there's many of you out there that know exactly what i'm talking about and um it's it's a difficult thing to deal with hence my last um documentations about anger and frustration you know they're the real key things that how how could this be how could it happen why did it happen to us well well it is what it is and it happened to us so but the question is is what do you do about it how do you cope with it this sort of never-ending nightmare which is around you every day you're thinking oh, well, why didn't we ever get justice why was the case closed but really it shouldn't have been closed 
and why was it closed? And these are questions that we're going to have answered very uh, um, in the coming in the coming future, should we say? And I just wanted to document that because that's um, there are no words to describe how awful and hard it is uh, in in this particular case and millions of others of course when you don't get the closure and even when you do get the closure it's super difficult to deal with every day loss um you know i lost my best friend a few years afterwards and uh that actually nearly pushed me over the edge of, of grief it was horrific losing my best friend um who was there by my side literally every day after you know, five years before I'd lost my brother Shane and um, uh, my best buddy Dara. He was, you know, my rock and my best buddy for all my life, most of most of my life up to that point, uh, until he was taken. Well, he, he died tragically, and no time has ever been able to heal that one. And he's uh, so so. The question about time healing, it does and it doesn't really heal and everybody's different of course in how they respond and how they react but at the end of the day you never really never you never heal and time does not soften the blow people may think it does but it never does um uh it may be different levels of of softening and and intensity but at the end of the day i, I don't think anyway that we ever uh, recover from losing the people that we love uh, so, so I just wanted to document that one. And uh, guys, if you have any questions, any thoughts or comments or anything like that, feel free to put them in the comment section, or you can just personally direct message myself, and we can we can chat about it. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, and hope everybody's feeling well out there. And if there is anybody having pain and loss. The trick is to try to flip that energy, that negative energy around to use it to a positive. So instead of being angry and, and upset and all of that, which you're always going to be, you might as well channel that energy into a, into some positive actions that are going to have positive impact on your life. You can't let this strangle your life and, and you know, you know, bring you down a dark hole. It's so important to be able to channel it, see the light, and, and do great things. There's amazing things that people do with pain and, and uh, sadness and loss, amazing things. I mean, there's millions of great examples out there. And, and um, these are the real people that I admire because it's very difficult, but when you do, it's a game changer. And, you, and, and it's in many ways, it's your, your, you, your X factor in many ways because you are leveraging this energy to do something magnificent and positive. So, um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I look forward to sharing my next updates very soon. Take it easy.